Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nut Raisin. We are playing more PLO, up to PLO 50, depending on what kind of tables we get. And yeah, last stream or last streaming day, last playing day was quite horrible. But nevertheless, I'm starting the day with a smile on my face for I just saw on Twitter that I have my very own run at once video on YouTube, which is <laughs> making me insanely happy. They posted a a splash part uh, video featuring uh, the biggest splashes I've had so far and let me record an intro for that and yeah I'm very excited about that happening I'll put the link in the channel I'll put it in there a bunch of times today because why not it's a fun thing so no PLO 50 just yet on run once. Strange enough, we do have PLO 20 going. And speaking of uh, things and them going on, starting tomorrow, a week of splashy hours will once again happen on run once, this time with a twist. As in, they will last two hours. The first hour will give 80% breakback, like in the first splashy hour promotion we had. And the second hour they added will still give 65% of rakeback in the form of splashes right there at the tables. And I'm excited. The splashy hours have been not only amazing for traffic, also have been great action. And we've seen a bunch of huge splashes. So maybe we can get some of the buy-ins back in the coming week that I sometimes needlessly lost on Friday. Although the reason why I lost uh, buy-ins needlessly there was that I have to admit I started to tilt at some point because I don't think I've ever had a worse run at uh, 100 big blind PLO yet in my uh, quote-unquote career. Well, I guess the word, the word is still is fine. Yeah, so that was quite a, quite a <laughs> horrible. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Take a few days off, get your get your head right, and pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and do more of the same. Well. Hopefully not entirely the same, but you know what I mean. The home games for the last time will happen on Sundays. In the future, they will happen on Fridays. Don't miss tonight, because the Play Money Tournament will have a uh, double price pool of no, of 10 bucks. And how did we go down from a full table to being heads up here? That kind of blows. Let me see if I can substitute some... Micro gaming tables. Uh, oh, a PLO 50 table opens just on time. That is quite nice. I'll ditch the heads up then. Coming back after a long break. Heads up is not really what I'm looking for. Now, that is not the board I'm looking for either. A PLO 50 week, we are come with double suited um, A little bit too weak, I think. Even for the button. And they're going at it right away. Race in the 3-bet here. Um, I'll put a bet in. I have been playing really snuck here so far. That gets it done. Wait, wrong button. There you go. So, I'll keep an eye out uh, for, you know, 50 tables on micro gaming as well. I do, I am sitting on one PLO 20 table. Um, one unknown player, um, Jack 10, 10, 6. If he raises, I still have to let it go. If not, I can raise calm. Or just take it down pre, that'll work too. Um, I doubt it. Triple suited bunch of um, gaps there. Let's not.
All right. Asus, first time in Pilo 50 today in the form of Ace Ace 9 7, suited to the 9. Wouldn't mind getting raised here, of course. Um, okay. I have the nut flush blocker. Not betting here right away. I keep betting, especially if a diamond turns or rivers. Or that will work too. Give me the current nuts in the form of a top set of aces. Icon! Hey, nice to see you back. Oh, let's see if we can bend going. Mine has been very, very relaxed. Um, that's a card where we, we block the low straight, but we can't really bet. And if he bets, we have to fold. That's the long and that's the short of it. Betting here would turn our hand into a bluff, which is absolutely not necessary with this showdown value. Nice. So he called the flop with the pair and the gutter on the turn he made two pair. Didn't come in for the race. Interesting. Let's um, take at least a mental note on that. That's quite a flop. Um, and one we'd like to raise a little bit, wouldn't we? We have top two, we have the nut flush draw. And life is looking pretty fine here. Kill poke! Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for saying that. I missed uh, streaming as well. I did miss poker for two days after that horrible, what was it, Thursday? I... Yeah. I'd missed the streaming, but not necessarily the poker. But I'm very happy to be back. So, down here, interesting spot where we race. Now, come over the top. Uh, well, there's some extra money in here. If, I, if he can get it heads up, fine. None of these people... I see bet here and uh, took it down. Yeah. If one of these comes over the top, then so be it. I saw, Stushi! I saw! I am be, uh, beyond happy about it. And also welcome back, Stushi. Hang on. Yeah, I have my first uh, run at once YouTube video. Uh, featuring only uh, me and all the splash pots we played and I got was asked to re record a video and an intro about it too and I'm of course super excited about the whole thing happening in the first place and happened to me no less I mean it's pretty nutty thank you very much for uh, saying you you missed me or you missed the stream that's very nice So on Friday I lost a good deal of money, I lost 10 buy-ins on stream. And then I took a break and thought my head was uh, back on right, and that might have been actually. But I kept running extraordinarily horrible. And I have to admit at some point I did start tilting as well. I'm fairly certain I, that I'm. it would be wrong of me to deny that. And subsequently lost, yeah, more than, I'd, uh, more than I care for. So take and do the, uh, a break for two days is fine. Was, was good for me. And tomorrow is my day off as well, but I suspect I will do at least one two-hour stream during the splashy hours in the early evening hours or mi mid-ish evening. Late afternoon, whatever, at 7 o'clock Central European Summertime. Technicalities aside, I'll just name the correct time. Um... Probably not. 
think I've been overplaying kings a little bit in a recent past. And this is a pity, I can't quite raise it, I can't quite call it. I'll just let it go. Let's check out these kings here in MP. Yeah, that's exactly correct too. Down to the, this hand down to the 9 and the 5 as side cards is regarded as being playable by the solver. And that would have been an exciting, or would have been a, yeah, would have been an exciting flop. I mean, still, I have no business being in, in it. Now I am curious. Kings, take it down. Interesting, he had no straight blockers, nothing there. And he came over the top on the flop. Interesting. Yeah, I'll retweet uh, the the tweet from Run It Once with the video because yeah, naturally I'm super excited about it. Um, also kind of exciting to flop the third nuts here. A little bit of a backdoor full house draw, I guess, but that's not the main point right now. Actually, now it might be. No, oh, it might be coming in. I mean. Um, okay, and better tier two. Try to have have to try to get some money in. Get called if you actually make the full house. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Question is, can we get any money out of him or her? As the case may might be. Turns out we can. I wonder what we're up against. Is King really? Wow! Didn't we escape Doom there? She had the uh, the, the nut flush. Ooh, nasty! That was nasty. Well, I think that she just lost a buy-in. Uh, she might not be in the best state of mind now. I'll keep an eye on out of, out for that. Currently only sitting on two tables because there just are plainly no more to be had right now. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Stushy. A few days in Krakow, Poland. Nice. Hope you had a good time. At the GTO time for you. It turned out it wasn't the GTO time for the Alter. Because he told me that uh, it was bad timing from from in, uh, on his part because he had like five days off. Funny how it goes. Also sad that now we're he uh, only heads up here. I'm not quite sure I want to do that. Actually, I'm quite sure I don't. All right, let's ditch that and I'll pick up some more tables. Has to be a PLO 10 table for now. We have at least one more table going. And take that one down by aggression and now follow up with aces. So, yeah, only two tables currently. I just can't get any more seats currently. I was asked here if I'm streaming right now by Holmesen. For a moment, it took, it took me a moment. Like, Holmesen, Holmesen, I know that name. 
then of course it clicked. It's Holmesen from Twitch. And okay. Don't flop bad by any means. That helps a lot. And of course today is the home game stream, so it'll be a rather relaxed stream, that's for sure. The alt is just complimenting on the in the Discord on the Dashpod video. Right, so let's call here. Nothing exciting for us cooking, not much. There's a pillow 50 table potentially opening. Nope, never mind. Yeah, if you guys are curious about the uh, Run at Once video that came out featuring um, Splashpots uh, played uh, solely on this channel with an uh, intro by uh, done by me, then check out the link here. Quite a fun thing. And I tell you, man, that was the most vexing um, cam uh, experience I ever had being on camera recording that intro. Streaming, I just go with the flow, I talk, and whenever something weird comes out, I either try to correct it or... Dumogamla, the bankroll, is it around uh, 5k? Or still at around 100 mines for Pilo 50. So yeah, um, yeah, that's right, as I was saying, the streaming is one thing, there you just talk, and if something weird comes out, you move on. But for the intro, I took like, I don't know, 10, 15 takes or something. No, it's like, oh no, you're scratching your nose too much, or you had too many ums, ass in between, or just messed up, and ah, it was vexing. Yeah, after that horrible uh, Thursday Domagamla, I lost quite a bit, but... Um, it's Sunday, There's t the Power Fest is going on on uh, Party. So far, the last couple of uh, weeks, li I would say the last three weeks, I think, traffic has been slowly rising, in my opinion. Uh, speaking only about PLO, actually, though there were some No Limit games as well. So Sundays and Saturdays always have been the lowest points in traffic. I, th I think pretty much always. People play on other sites, play tournaments on other sites, and then stay there for the cash games, I would assume. I don't know. But... Um, I have high hopes for next week, because the splashy hours are back, and they will be two hours long this time around. And I think that la the last splashy hours brought in a lot of traffic. I suspect the same is going to be true this time. I wouldn't mind completely putting it in here. We have a pair, we have a flush draw, we have the open ender. And that is the current nuts for us. Oh, damn it. I didn't see it was raised here. We flop some stuff here if we get a fold and take it down. Alright. No, it looks like a Pilo 50 table might be in the cards. It is indeed, and there's also a red tag sitting there right on. So on the new table 2, we in fact have Pilo 50 gone. Cool. Let's try to A, run, and B, play a little bit better. Than I did last time around. Mm, 
And nope. Um, I wonder, I wonder, I think it's fine if it gets folded around. If it doesn't, then we'll, of course, just let it go. Let's watch the peel of 50 table. Strangely enough, Domoganda, there is a... Seems to be a peel of uh, 200 table going on at run, on run at once. We had a peel of 50 table a little bit earlier, but it broke relatively quickly. Um, mm, yeah, I, I guess if you keep it to a race fold. Definitely folding, even if the uh, red tech here comes over the top. The home games, the home games, how long until the home games? 35 minutes, don't forget, uh, for the last time, the first of all, for the last time, they will happen on a Sunday. In the future, they will happen on Fridays. And this is uh, the last time where, I'm actually going to bet here, where the prize pool has been doubled to 10 bucks in the Playminer tournament. Here we're coming over the top. On table three, we took it down. That's not a board where I'm checking on. Might as well step really small. I mean, if he comes over the top, we are not going to be able to fold. Well, maybe we would be depending. Assuming he parts, it's an iffy spot. Another peel of 50 table has a seat open, I'll show you, but I'm not gonna take it. Here's one green tag on the table. Okay, now this guy sat down here as well. Maybe in the future, if another seat opens up, it might become interesting. And there you go. Great timing. A limp pot, which I somehow took down here. Domogamla, I think this fall will be interesting now. Summer is slowly coming to an end. Not quite yet, but summer is uh, across the year the weakest time for online poker. So I'm going to be interested to see how the numbers are going to develop in the next couple of months. And also, I reckon the beta is not going to... I have no inside information here. I'm just guessing. But I would think the beta is not going to take like another half or uh, half year, nine, ten months. I think like... Half a year at most. Again, I'm purely guessing, but it's based on some things Phil Gelfand said publicly. It made it sound that he feels beta might not be going on for for forever and ever at this point. I think if they have sit and goes down, they might launch for real and accordingly ramp up their advertising efforts and everything. Even for 50 cents, I'll let it go. Here is another red tag, short stacking, set down to our left. Also, 
pretty weak. Let's actually check up on that. Triple suited in the cutoff. I have a feeling it might not be okay, Solver Wise. That's actually not, it's, M, it's the cutoff, not MP. Um, seven. That's fine. Can be raised called even. Hmm. Okay. Double gutter now. Okay. If he checks, we're gonna bet. This guy might be interesting to have him at, at our table. And another peel of 50 table, that's fine. Hmm. There you go. And them nuts for us. Alright, that puts us on 3 Pilo 50 table. Actually, I actually think I'm gonna close the 1 Pilo 20 table, just to be able to concentrate a little bit better. And so far we are up for the day, by the way. It's also nice. After that Thursday, we're up more than a buy-in currently. Um, nope. Not on the small blind. 28 minutes until the home games. If you want to play with us, then type exclamation point home game in the chat and you will know all about how it works. There is a play money free roll with uh, this week a double price pool of the normally 5 euros to 10 euros divvied up by the top three finishers. Get sort of min four bet, I guess. Doesn't look like our boards. Oops, almost misclicked. Der Alte, good to see you. Nice to have you, Der Alte. Hope you will be able to play in the home game today. Oh, you're gonna miss the home game. Oh, but still cool to have the quick pop in. Oh, always at work there, Alter, when you when you're the channel. Thank you very much, Wade. It's a pity not to have you there today, but it's a pleasure to have the quick pop in. Man, you know what? The streaming helps. I felt a little bit miserable at times the last two days because not only was I running bad in the end, I have to admit, I was uh, also tilting some binds away. Not proud of it. But I think I have come up with a new rule for myself, which basically consists of uh, somewhere along the lines of uh, that I'm either not going to play poker at all without streaming, 
except for you know maybe a tournament here or there. Or if I play cash, then it'll be a really strict loss limit, like two or three buy-ins. Because the streaming helps. I, I can't say it often enough. It helps preventing tilt a lot. Because I don't sit here brooding, you know, I just I let it all out. Holmesen, welcome back. Yeah, but um, when you chatted at the table, I was, or when you came at the table, I was like, Holmesen, Holmesen, I know the name for someone. And then you chatted, and I was like, of course, it's Holmesen from Twitch. I was stupid there for a moment. But then what else is new? So, here's basically the plan for today and tomorrow. Today is all about the home games. When the home games are done, I will probably play the main event uh, on Party Poker for like one or two bullets. But I will, um, after the home games, I will very likely end the stream and should uh, should I have a deep run, because I'm not, I'm, I would like, you know, watch a video and relax a little bit more. I, I'm, I think at least. But should I make a deep run, I would come back. And tomorrow is my new day off, or has always been my day off, but... Wait. Oh, that's wrong, it has. Tomorrow I'll stream for the uh, splashy hours, f at the very least. Is the main point. And maybe it's just gonna be a, com a completely regular streaming day too. I think getting back on that bicycle might be the best way forward, but I'm not entirely sure yet. That is not a bad flop. Hopefully. Shouldn't be many threes out there at all. Right, so what are you claiming? Let me see about... I haven't really seen him do that very often. Um, the question is, how many threes does he show up with here? There's some ace three type of hands. Um, I don't know, man. I really could go either way, I'm, I don't know. Alright, I, I made a random number generator decision. Had the minutes been even, I would have uh, called. The minutes on the clock, I mean. Hmm. Well, there's a spot we do get to see bluffed sometimes. We certainly do it ourselves sometimes, so... Hmm. Ace-3 is pretty much the most likely. We were blocking uh, nines full, which he shouldn't, doesn't really need to raise yet. Doesn't really need to raise a 3 either on a board like this. I don't know, I'm starting to have, to have doubts. Hmm. Doubts schmelts. We will never know for sure.
So, any more tables? That would be interesting. Nope. The pair of flood. No, I didn't have a flush route. Just a pair in the open ender here, Lewis Lit. Interesting. Not folding if she comes over the top. Might be ticked off after the last hand. Three ways, huh? Well, okay. Ace is there with the king. That is a bit too bad. We have a low flush draw. She already makes the... Well, we now we need to flush. Uh, had a low straight draw, I mean. How did you make a straight? Oh, with the ace king. Okay. Wait, what? Do I need to reload money on... No. Okay. There you go. Here it is, uh, Sir Earl had more, uh, more or less, well, not really a random hand, but definitely not an all-in hand. Not even if you suspe suspect aces are out there twice, I don't think I would go with that one. Make it a rundown, much more than a pair 9, 8, 6, I believe is what it was. Only you and uh, you and I wrecked in the home game. Oh, yeah, it might be that um, not everybody got the announcement on Twitter uh, or and or in the Discord that they are that the Friday one was not happening this week. But we do need need more people. I completely agree. Um, all right. Yeah, so everybody join the home game. It's going to be excellent value. I can, if there's only a few people, um, I'm sure we can work. So, uh, we'll work something out. Maybe we'll double the price pool next week instead of this week. Like if there's only two or three people uh, with us. But yeah, um, closing the action. All right. Here, this is mighty fine. Bring us middle set. Ah, you know what? I don't know about this one. We're not suited. We're not perfectly double suited. Make it the queen high suit. Uh, make the queen of spades, and I think I like it more. Now I have to let go, even though I'm getting a pretty good price. Yeah, the five's not going to be great. The queen's. Yeah, we have to let it go. Best card would either be an eight or an ace turning. Five puts rates out there. Queen puts rates out there. As soft as it gets, you might be right too. Um, let me check uh, that king squeeze, king king squeeze, but I think that one was perfectly fine. BB versus under the gut. That was sort of kings. Yes, it is, but it doesn't get raised called. It gets raised folded. Okay. That I was not aware of anymore, if I was before. Makes sense, though. If you uh, squeeze and under the, under the gun opener, the same person or anybody else comes over the top again, you are very often up against the aces, and then... Hmm. All right. Noted. it. So the three, the squeeze is fine, but not calling all in. Very much noted. Check. 
check this one. Color versus the gun. Quite sure if I'm supposed to race, but I don't think so with the 5. Actually, uh, with the 10-6, I'm just calling with the 10-5, I'm folding. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> ah, a few, more, a few more sessions like on Thursday. I'll be a micro player ba uh, back to being a micro player rather sooner than later. Never know. I can't get over, I've just opened up the YouTube video on the side. I can't get over the fact that I have my very own, very own intro there, my very own Run It Runs video on their YouTube. Oh, that's quite a thing. I mean, I have no problem doubling the prize pool uh, two weeks in a row. I can't uh, make it for next week, I just figure. Not really gonna be useful if there's only the two of us. Let's see, let me um, close Poker Tracker. Actually, this one we can check. Single race part. Yeah, let me. Poker Tracker, I will, ta will I take one off. I have an interesting one. Let's give us an open ender. That's not a good one, though. Yeah, let me close Poker Tracker and I'll open up stars. Bob the open ender, two backdoor flushes here. Right, let's check out stars. Make a pair and a flush run out. Actually got her to a straight flush too. Just a little bit. Alright, oh, and the play money there, six people uh, wrecked icon. So that's fine. Yeah, so it'll be business as usual. In that case, of course. And 52 members, huh? Yeah. Right, Delta, in case you're still hearing us, thank you very much for the drop-in. Always, uh... Awesome to have you in the channel. And drive carefully, mate. Oh, right, 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 right. I need to check out something. There's still somebody from last week who I couldn't transfer the winnings to. Where's that here? Cap alone. Let's hope he's in the tournament today. Not yet, no. Um...
check the middle set here. I got called and I'm good. Locking my hand out here a little bit, holding a 7 myself. Very nice turn. of course and we have to let it go as sad as it is don't block the straights don't block spades and just don't think it's gonna be a bluff here basically ever the ace of spades is pretty much the only thing that would bluff like the lone ace of spades maybe with the pair on the flop something like that too bad. to kind of go with this one. Calling is strange with uh, this bet sizing. So I don't think calling is an option. Either folding or going with it. Alright. A flush draw now. And we actually take this one down. Sweet. Also, Shazam! I mean, now we know a little bit more about Plotter's uh, three betting range there, at least against the button open. In case he differentiates there. Wow. Pair, open ender, second nut flush draw, and a block to the current nuts. I think we're going with this one as well. You don't mind putting money in here. That one kind of plays itself. It's very helpful that we do have that eight. Even against the mate straight, we would still be probably a favorite unless it's a mate straight with the nut with a nut flush draw. All right, to everybody just joining, the home games are on for the last time on a Sunday. Um, if you want to join, do so now. The late rack period will only be five minutes. So from now on, by the time you hear this, you will only have, what, seven minutes to register, including late, late rack. The play money tournament for the last time has a doubled prize pool, doubled to 10 euros instead of the usual five. And there's a bounty on my head in both tournaments, i.e. the play money and the $2.20 buy-in tournament of one euro on my own head in both. Richie Raw back in the channel. Good to see you, Richie. 
Thanks for the good lucks. And if you guys don't know Richie Rob, you should check him out on his channel, streaming no delay tournaments, being very entertaining when he does so. Neither he nor his chat ever shuts up, then I always have a good time in his place. And when I say it doesn't shut up, I mean it in the best sense possible. So, yeah, I enjoy his channel. Uh, chat is our YouTube too. Check him out if you haven't. Just don't invite him to your give giveaways. He tends to win them all. It's the only bad thing I have to say. No, that's the only... Yeah, I guess it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's, it's the only other thing I have to say. Nope, in that case. And as always in the Playminer tournament, should I be one of the uh, top three or, t or top four finishers, I will not take part in my own prize pool. I will just step back and the uh, fourth place finisher will automatically move up a rank place. How your stream's been going, uh, Richie Rob? I hope everything is on the up and up. Big part here, we know who doesn't have the quads. All of them. There's a fine hand, ace nine eight, ace nine eight five, double suited on the button. And you know what? I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be a three bet or not with the gap between the five and the, and the eight. I suspect it's not horrible if we do. Um. Okay, it doesn't come to it. Let's check it out. Let's assume... Let's actually assume under the gun um, opened. Then it would just be a call. Well, at this point we're not folding naturally. And we flop an ace with hearts. So we kind of blocked in the sevens by... Having the, the um, you know, the, the a7, the 9 7, 8 7 type of hands blocked. I think we're gonna go for a small raise here. Yeah, I think I kinda like that. And he didn't, and all is well in the world. All right, I will um, stop the cash tables in a moment. I am registered in the tournaments, am I? Yeah, cool. All right, the uh, tables are opening up. Do this properly, move these out of the way for, for now. Sorry for showing you an empty screen there for a moment. I clicked the wrong button, as I sometimes do. So.
On table one, position one, we have the play money tournament. In position two, we have the real money tournament. And I can't type apparently. So, hey, it's kind of it's nice to see that some people join. Some more people joined the real money tournament. So we got that going with uh, four players. Also, five minute late rack. If you're hearing this now, hurry, hurry. Oh, cause babysitting. That is a good excuse for not being able to play. That baby is uh, in for a fun night if you're the one babysitting. Cool. One of the last um, real money hands here. Um. Eh. Oh, that's a pity. Yeah. God, that's a flush. Uh, I mean... Okay, we'll sneakily play. <laughs> My lips are gonna be sealed, Richie Rob. Richie Rob! In his first appearance at the home games, right on! I almost used the curse word there, like write the F on, but of course you're babysitting, so I shall not use foul language. I mean, we're not gonna be talking about water birds. <laughs> Right, so let's see if I can get a the second play minor table in a spot as well. And I do. So, as you can see in the header two, table three is the other. Actually, let's make this a little bit straightforward. Table two and uh, table one and table two are going to be play money. Table three is gonna be the real money table. I did the real money tournament, of course, I mean. Okay. Closing the action, pair of sevens, why not? Wow, kind of a cool turn. Giving us a full house. The third nuts right now, or fourth, I guess. All right, do we have the option able to show? Let's see. Richie Rob apparently has notes on uh, Des Links. Who is on Twitch? Garen's Luck! Alright, Garen's Luck, good to have you at the tournament. Pleasure. Also, the Playmaner tournament here on table 2. Stashi Fobolo Hilo, as I recently learned. I always uh, pronounce the German Fobolo Hilo. This, of course, nonsense. Um. Right. If icon here, cloud. Good to see all of you. AMTTT. Who we has never found out who the who AMTT is on Twitch, have we? By the way, if any of you know who Cap Alone is, 
or Capalone, depending on how you want to pronounce it. He was uh, playing for the first time in last week's uh, home game, and he took down a Euro. I don't know if it's uh, place money or if he placed or if it's... I think it was Bounty. And I'm unable to transfer money to him on Stars, and I couldn't... I don't know how to get a hold of him. I um, put out a message on Discord as well. I'm not sure if he's in our Discord. Oh yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know, please. Giving us that nut flush draw. Bad. That being said, as always, I'm gonna uh, say the same disclaimer as every week. If you guys get tilted by me showing you my hands or anything, if you would rather I don't, let me know. You can do so privately in Discord, so you don't need to do it publicly in the in the, in the Twitch channel or anywhere. And yeah, just I don't I would hate to tilt anybody. Just figure it's fun to you to see the hands. But having been on the receiving end of tilt, uh, on the having been tilting myself a couple of days ago, I would very much understand. If, would like me not to do it. Got the aces down here in the play money table. Wait, no, that's real money tournament. Never mind. That means in real money for uh, first place there are ten dollars in prize money. Ooh, are we getting a raise by Garen's luck? No. Um. What? Oh, Chiching! Thank you very much for coming over and bringing all your friends here. If you guys don't know Chiching, which I doubt at this point, you probably everybody in the channel knows her. Absolutely check her out. She plays tournaments, is a super nice person, and has an amazing Twitch channel, which I enjoy myself very, very much. Do I have it back in the chat? Welcome back. Do I have it? We are doing not the most exciting stream today, unless you are part of the home games, which for the last time are happening on a Sunday. Um, starting next week, they will happen on Fridays. The play money tournament, which we have on table one. Oh, there's an Ollie here in the play money. Full house against full house. And AMTT is out, sadly. But nice part for Richie. Right, let me start over. To everybody coming over, my name is Nut Raisin. I am playing PLO up to PLO 50 currently. I do it full time, five days a week. And currently on Sundays, I in the future it's going to be my day off, but right now it is the home game day which means there's a play money tournament and a real money tournament the play money tournament is a real free roll you don't have to pay anything to enter there's gonna be a five euro prize pool this week only it's doubled to 10 euros and the other one is a two dollar twenty as you can see here a real money tournament both of them have a bounty of one euro on my own head so you can take down that as well and then just hearing Stashy TV is douchey, I kind of figured. Potentially an O2. No, it's actually the right amount of O's, I think. But it's good to have it confirmed. Thank you for letting us know, Stushi. One the money with the name you just said. Dutch lad! The one the money with the name you just said. <laughs> um, so MTT, that's you? Cool. Ian Leo. Hey, welcome to the channel, Ian. Unfortunately, the re late rack is already over. I there doesn't seem to be any way for me to um, increase the late rack from uh, five minutes that it currently is, uh, which is a source of continuous sadness or disappointment, at least. Would love to have it longer, but I uh, can't do anything about it. So, yeah, as I was saying, usually there's PLO 50 cash games happening on this channel. Right now, it's all about them home games. 
And I completely forgot my manners. How was your stream? Oh, I could have raised smaller here. How was your stream, Chiching? I hope you had a good a good run today and a good stream. I will do my very best, Chiching, to get, to get those buy-ins back. So most of them on th Thursday, I believe it was. I lo a lot of them I lost due to just the dealer, a dealer being a poopy pants. But I have to admit, I eventually tilted uh, some money away there as well, which I wasn't proud of. Which was also one of the reasons why I took two days off, just to take a breather. Get my... No, it's not a UFO, it's just a hot air balloon. Okay, I think so at least. Yeah, get my head back on straight and everything. Make top and middle pair here, not gonna bet. That could be good a lot. Yeah. No bluff with the blockers. Alright. Not sure if it would have worked. 50 50, I think. Oh, Dutch led. Now I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little bit slow, apparently, on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, right. You're that guy with the name I just said who wanted money. Let me get right on transferring that. Start the. Um, that I can do, yeah. That I can do for the future. Oh, there's a big pot happening here in the real money tournament. Richie Rob all in versus Garen's Luck. Richie taking it down. Also, a decent pot happening on table two of the play money. Yeah, that's not a yeah. See, I can I can do that. I can't. I need to reschedule the home games f uh, starting for next week as well. Uh, anyway, Ian Leo, thank you very much for the follow. That's very nice of you. Just kidding. Yeah. I can't let Richie Rob on the final table. <laughs> they are. They they are indeed. It is the final table, but it was from the very beginning. We only had uh, five runners. Yeah, pleasure to have a new uh, new name in the chat, Ian. As I said, if you're not in the home game, this might possibly not be the most exciting stream today. I fully, I'm fully aware of that. But starting tomorrow, more Pilo 50 cash games will happen here, and they will happen five days a week. Maybe, uh, maybe this week or the, the the starting week. I will, I might not take the Wednesday off because it's going to be the splashy hours. Or if I take the Wednesday off, I will not take it off completely. I will stream at least for the splashy hour in the evening, which is a promotion on Runnit Ones where they give back more rake back in the form of these splash pots that they are so fond of, and I quite dig as well now. And these have proven to be not only exciting, but also very profitable in the past, these splashy hours. Made some into monies. Um, disgusting run today. I'm acutely aware how they feel given my run on Thursday. So my heart does go out to you, Chi Ching. It's never fun to hear that. But got some into monies. That's cool. Goal is to reach your final table, naturally. Richie Rob is a big fish. Them's fighting birds. Get this one. We have a odd here as well. Min, uh, Foblo Hilo now min bets. 
Here, Richie gets called on this board by Garant. Garant's luck. Pot's going on all over the place. Something is happening here. He blocks straight draws a little bit that are on this board. Use a moment to see if there's any if there's any single must sit at table on uh, micro gaming happening. I usually don't have cash games open while we do the home games, but it never hurts to check. Maybe there's a super exciting player out there. Nah, not really. Well, there's one potentially. I'll keep it open. See if I can get a seat there. Right. Ooh, big one here between Cloud and Icon. We block the nuts. Interesting to see what they sh uh, show up with. Should a showdown happen? Should a showdown happen? That's not easy to say. A bunch of times in a row. The overpair takes it down with a turned and second nut flush draw. Interesting. Richie Rob getting richer, no mistake. And Ian Leal is a very sweet person, so cool to have him. I, you know, that's high praise if that comes from teaching, I feel. Sweet. Can't do anything down here. Just letting it go on the real money table or real money tournament table. Nope. A min race part here goes three ways to the flop in the second table of the play money. Check down, both of them have the same hand, ace queen. At the button we have nines with an eight and a seven. Flop the bottom set here. It's not a great board to have bottom set on. It's one of those boards where if it pairs like a jack or a queen rolling off, you could easily be behind against a better full house. That being set. Take one off. And also have a hand in the, on the real money t attorney. Out here by Richie, who can definitely afford it now, sitting on the deepest deck in the tournament currently. <laughs> um, need to let it go. Being a suitor, double suited, maybe it's a call. At two pair and all the draws too, Richie says. Yeah, then I still like my fold. Here we're checking behind with a top pair and a open ender. And that would be the nuts for us. Tough to get money here, yeah. Hey, Richie Rob had um, exactly that hand we I was talking about. Like, if the board pairs, I 
we would have been behind. And he also had a straight and flush covered. Yeah. Um, this one, we need to let go as well. 180k spin and go going on. Damn it, not on my screen. But crap. Jesus. Just finished. <laughs> Wait, did we? No, that was a fine fold. Also, part happening over here in the meantime. While Richie Rob is still tanking on the real money table. Calls eventually table two. Stushi takes it down. Wow, 15k for losing, 150k for the winner, and that 180k sit and go. Jeez, that's bananas. Oh. Richie Rob and Cloud sitting out. Icon should raise here a lot. Uh, I thought when, if I just called, then uh, Richie Rob has more time to take it down, uh, to come back to the table. Sorry, Richie, I didn't mean to take advantage. Uh, had I known that, I would have let it time down a little bit more. Noted for future reference. A fine hand for us here, ace, king, queen, three, double suited. Gonna shy away if we get three bet, that's for certain. I don't know, I don't know, Richie. I don't think so. You had the straight draws covered and all that. You don't mind if somebody comes over the top, I think. Straight draws and flush draw covered. So, no? I think it's fine. Is there a flush draw on the board? Check back to that hand. Was a flush draw on the turn? Happening here, Fobolo High Low taking it down. Cool. Still nine peeps in the play money. Cool. Can't do much here, just letting it go. Same story down here. Need to let this one go. Richie Rob called, uh, called Icons race to 200 here. We have double paired aces on eight with three in the real money tourney.
Whoa! Things are happening. Back back over here. So here I can fold it. And we gotta walk with the uh, aces. Ushi taking down a nice one here. Nice pot. Have to do some more folding. And Cloud found a hand he likes. Found a hand he likes. Richie opened up the button for uh, the min race, I think. Yep. Relevant blockers a little bit blocking the king a bit. Splitting it, huh? Splitting it three ways, it seems. <laughs> Don't see that very often in Piero, the three-way split. Ian, thank you very much for those nice words. They mean a lot to me. Cheers. They really do. Thank you. Especially you saying that on a Sunday where there's not that much, you know, not no. Be a cash game action happening. I appreciate that even more then. Stushy. Ooh, gets what is it, four or five bet at this point? I lost count. Bubble high low quickly all in. There shouldn't be any calling here. Should I be folding or shoving? Ace against queens and jacks, wow. Queens and the, the jacks flop massively. Plays it, yeah. Played itself from back to back caches, and I think from Fobola Hilo's uh, perspective too. Double suited queens and jacks, yeah. Love the accent. <laughs> now that I appreciate hearing as well. It shouldn't be too German. I'm sure there's some places. Oh, Ian, I just saw your membership request for the Stars home game thingy. Let me take care of that right now. Cool, happy to have you on board in the home games. Looking forward to seeing you at the tables next uh, Friday. So again, uh, just to reiterate, in the past, and uh, including today. Can the past include today? Hmm, let's not philosophize too much. Anyway, um, up until now, the home games have been happening on... Sundays, in the future, they will happen at the same time on Fridays. 50-50 until the end. Yeah, and welcome to the club, quite literally there, Ian Leo. Cheers. Nice find a fold there. Probably not a bad fold either. And we lost a player back to back and busted the playmaker tournament. All in, not an all in here, but a decent sized part. Yeah, sick fold, I agree, Richie. We flop top and bottom and the open ender, willing to put more money in here for sure, especially on the rainbow board. Have a second nut 
backdoor flush draw as well. So part happening up here. Okay, let's keep an eye on both, ideally. Take it down here. Really, a pair of jacks takes it down on this board. That was a very um, aggressive betting there. Pretty nice. Well done, Richie. Against a big blind, we are betting, C betting here a lot on an ace high board. Can keep the bet size small. Against the small blind, I would check here pretty much always. Of course, if I get raised or called, I'm done with the hand at this point. Now I'm getting a little bit of showdown value. Have a king. Also have a flush draw now. Two pair outs are sometimes good as well. That's an interesting river. So there's not many draws he could have called with, like a 6-4 we block. Do you think we need to let it go? I think there's a value bet very often. If it's a bluff, then very well done. Another fine hand. Perfectly double suited. No gapped. Nine high rundown. Man, the PLO hands are take some time to say. No limit, you say kings or ace king suited, whatever. Uh, PLO, you need to take a breath before you start talking. I am uh, uh, Ian Leal, I am from Germany. I live in East Germany, near uh, in the Leipzig area, like 200 kilometers south of Berlin. And um, I spent, in my past, I spent a year in the US. So I spent two years in Canada. We flop. Oh, we flop interesting. Um, we fl Hang on, we flop interesting on two tables here. Raised pot where blind versus blind I decided to call. I'm gonna start betting here with the wrap on the rainbow board. It's gonna be uh, three or razors, a small blind raising razor board here a lot. I.e. he shouldn't like it a lot, this board I mean. And we make the nuts there and here, rainbow, I'm gonna bet as well, I would wouldn't mind putting it in here. We have both backdoor flushes. We have the wrap, a pair. Yeah, looks like this is going to be it. Here, where we have the nuts, we'll see what happens. I could have bet smaller. It's a rainbow board. Don't like my bet sizing. Um, all right. Better flush draw. And a better pair too. Ooh, that's rough. Nice game. GG. Oh, not, not quite GG. Here we get called and we are not splitting, I would assume. I, for a moment, I thought you had the bounty there, Garant. Yeah, you're the 53rd member in the club, Ian. Nice to see you. more and more people joining. What did Icon call with there, by the way? Kind of curious. Maybe a set? No, Ace isn't... Yeah, a set. Ace, uh, Ace King 5-5 five, five, turned a set of fives. Here I wouldn't have minded betting them larger. Gonna fire a third barrel on the river. We get raised. Um, poof. Let's not get raised. <laughs> mm. 
Big. Big raise here. Richie in the tank. And Richie betting here. I'm willing to, s to check it out. He had it. All right, all right. Nice. Oh, wow. It looks like there's going to be an all-in between Richie Rob and Icon here. Horus against Top Hair and the Flush Draw. And the Gutter. The Flush Draw gets there. Richie not crippled uh, by any means. An Icon doubling up. Something happening on the second Play Money Tournament table. We can, we need to let it go. Pseudo to the ace, we might actually come over the top sometimes. It would be a stupid spot. No matter which way you turn it. But fold 4 4 on this board. Hmm. Yeah, probably, but it's... Uh, well. Kings and the draws, I would think. Not just the kings. Hmm. Tough spot. Need to let this go as well. What's happening on table two of the play money? Do she take him one down? We need a hand here, we need a hand soon. We are definitely on life support. And this might actually do it. Yeah. Second set always a fold. It's a tough spot with the draws out there, Richie Rob. I I don't think I could find a fault. I'm not saying I, sh I shouldn't. I'm just saying I probably couldn't. Cloud taking down a nice one here. Oh yeah, that's pr maybe not a leading board. A check raising board to get it in, and that way you don't have to face difficult turn decisions. That's uh, probably uh, not a bad way to go about it. All right. You have to bet a pair right now, 70%. And we take it down. Nice. Yeah, I think it's fine, especially given Icon's uh, stack, who has, should have a tough time calling. It's either all in or hold. And if he goes all in, we are definitely calling. Not as excited as we were before. Ooh, ooh, that's a, not a bad flop for us so far. Need to remain in king or an eight. Ooh, we get that king for knockout. That was kind of dirty. Um, but v GG, Icon, very GG. Need to lose one more player in the play money. <laughs> I 
<laughs> but I converted lol. I want to lol too. <laughs> that was a lol card. The eight is easier to take. Like, okay, you got the eight, but the round remaining king is like. <laughs> Ian, uh, thank you very much for the drop-in and looking forward to having you again in the future. Um, yeah, oh wait, no, the board paired, okay. Do any of that, which you can certainly afford a call or an all in, but opts not to. You know what? I'm really short. I can raise, I should raise pot here. Didn't take my stack size into account. Alright, good luck! A ten, a ten would be... Ooh. Oh, okay, okay, no, never mind, I thought we lost it in the end. Ah, oh, that was a dirty turn. Richie Rob can take it. He plays no delay tournaments on his stream and does that a lot, so he is well familiar with uh, swings and the dealer being, you know, a poopy pants sometimes. Yeah, on table two, um, Adi Cuts, do I have it? Uh, got knocked out of the Play Money tournament. So let me move that table over here. Now we have table one and table two. Table two being the real money tournament. That is a very thin hand to raise in the first place, but now against the big blind, I don't mind to see that one bit. The pressure on the the bubble pressure. But Fobler High Lord uh, is not to be toyed with and takes it down with the best hand. Well, you can't really take it down with the worst hand, do you, can you? Unless you know the dealer. <laughs> Time to call against the recreation. <laughs> Stushi having a good time in the chat, as he, as you should. There's also a decision looming here, which ends in favor of Icon. So we know who probably doesn't have queens full or a or eights. But just that we're blocking the queen and the eight doesn't mean it's impossible.
Oh, sorry about that. Nice bluffing cards! Ah, trying to, uh, to make the full house fold is not always a losing proposition in PLO. Why is this pot so big? Oh, because the blinds are high and I'm in the big. Okay, I was like, did I invest extra money in here? Turns out I didn't. I'll open up two uh, cash game tables on micro just so we have something to look at in the, during the break. It's a PLO 20 and PLO 10 table. Nothing too exciting but I'll move over. I'll, I'll show them should something exciting happens as it turns out does over here on table 1. That's a thousand chip pot 700. Stushi is saying, thank you for hosting the home game, Raisin. It is my genuine pleasure. I love the home game Sundays, or in the future I will love the home game Saturdays. No, oh, Fridays, what am I talking about? Giving out fake news there. Sorry about that. Icon taking out a nice one here. So I'm the second shortest stack here in the real money tournament, it seems like, and except for Richie sitting on three stacks, otherwise the playing field is still very much even in the play money tournament. Richie taking it like a man. Yeah, he's a season pro. We have 10, we have 12 big blinds here. You might just want to go with it. Twelve BB. I don't know, don't quote me on it. Good luck, good luck. Now we can fold, of course. Woo! Queens, we can get an ace. Of course, he can get a king. Now 50-50, and we split it up. That is fine by me. Real money tournament we have, well, sort of the nuts. Could be a straight flush out there. Is not. Oh.
It's nine five four triple. Mm. Much nicer hand over here. Ace Jack eight five double suited. Not so sure I like this race. Um, hmm. Okay. Kilo Wizard races. <laughs> um, you have to let this one go and. Do you have an NT? <laughs> Loosen people up a little. Um, might be something to consider once we once we get even even more runners. Um, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll I'll check if I can if I can. I actually I'm not sure if I can in the home games. I'll check up first, uh, Stushi, and then I'll ask around the Discord. Ask the people. Just 40 people. Getting really clo uh, low on chips here as well. Because it's a winner take all. Second place ain't paying Squadoosh. Handed here. Yep, let's do a die. Uh, forty sixty. That's not a good board. That's a nice card. Can we get there? No, GG and. Garen's luck taking down the bounty. There's links. Let me even take a note of make a note of that. Well done. What's been happening over here? There's links to have to name correct. Yeah, I think so. Just gonna call here Richie Rob. Has been calling a lot. I wish Donkey Stush is Dashy TV takes the chip lead. <laughs> um okay, it's not horrible. Yeah, we're going with this. Richie comes over the top again. Ugh. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, we have to see one more card. Oh, we're not falling. And we take down the last one before the break. Calls me a nit and I can't be offended if people state the truth. So it's for cash games. Yeah, with the break, I, as I wrote in the chat here, I think the majority was in favor of having a break. And I completely missed it there. If you don't need a Richie, it's a sin, Stushi. <laughs> I heard that. I actually heard that. Make two pair here. And pot it. Probably not worth finding a peel of 50 seed in the... Well, it might be. Fine, it might be. Nope. I hear where I got dealt into the blinds right away and have a red tag sitting to my right. That's in over the two here until the break is over. Suit. Like if Fjord opens, we could, or against a button open, this I believe is a race fold. Not quite sure I would do it against Fjord though. I think, he, I think he might not be folding enough. Get aces, double suited versus a short stack here. And a Pilo 10, 20 table. that saying he has to focus on a much better tournament. And wishing us a great session. Thank you very much, uh, Dutch lad, for the nice words. And good best of luck to you. Um that's too that's too weak. Here we have top two. This one is fine on the button as long as you keep it to a race fold. Checking or betting large, I think, is both an option. Yeah, I think both is an option.
Have a hand again. Ooh, player the break is over in a moment. Well, we have two pair now making the second nuts. And Icon and, and Garen's luck are already back to business there. And Stushi and Richie are involved here. Um, not quite. Uh, we still have a decent. We have a decent stack here. More than twenty BB currently. And there's a pair gather in the back of Lustra. Richie Rob has been seabedding a lot. Makes much more sense for us to have a queen than for him now. Get called, we can make some short on value as well. We don't, we take it down. Now we have a hand. <laughs> Do she like to bluff? Going up. I think we're coming over the top here, and no mistake. Out considering a fold, really? Never dead in PLO. There's kings here. No kings, okay. Yes, I effed it up. Eh! I effed up a lot worse last Thursday. <laughs> Ace King Queen 3, single suited. Yeah, I can see that fold, actually. Uh, of course, against my specific hand, calling would have been fine, but against my range, I get it. That's a mere. Yeah. Poker in, hey! Welcome back, Poker in 2019. Stushi Sing Donkey. <laughs> Oh no, that was in regards to a hand that I didn't follow, because I was distracted by another table. Chip stacks are shifting in favor of Icon here, I believe.
Giving us top two in the flush draw, we are gonna size it up. Get those pay jumps. <laughs> Garen's luck liking this turn, and they're fighting for 10 bucks here, I believe. Yeah. First place gets $10. And by the way, we are the second in chips now. Now that is a good question. Are we calling or are we coming over the top? And I honestly don't quite know the answer. I think we can just come over the top. The home games are in the most interesting phase now. Here, I believe, uh, provided I'm not the next one to bubble, uh, to to go out, the next one, uh, everybody else will be in the money, right? Or left, I'm not taking my own prize pool. Yeah. Let's see if I can save one bounty. Garen's Luck, aka Des Links here, took down the bounty, took down my bounty in the real money tournament. Hang on, I'll be back in a second. saying reading about taxation in Germany your rate seems cr seem crazy um, how much do I have to pay uh, for poker again I don't know yet I can tell you next year I think it should be like with uh, what I expect to earn this year it's not gonna be a lot it's gonna be 30 percent the first 10k are tax free somewhere thereabouts um, so 30 percent on anything over I I think I think I'm I actually have a, a appointment with a tax advisor beginning of September. Maybe I can give you some more info then. Check it seems fine. Who takes it down here? I think the flush draw takes it. Ah, too bad. Flop trips. giving us top and middle pair here. A lot of draws out there. And does Lynx need to win a pot here? She taking one down. All in aces against kings. Looking good for aces, eighty five percent, and that's it. Ushi, no, um, Garen's luck, I aka Dazzlings. Dazzlings. I think it's a better way to pronounce it. Doubling up. So yeah, poker. And it's not that I don't want to tell you. I just can't. Um, didn't come up uh, for me in the past. And I'll let you know the, as soon as I know more.
Nice double up there against Luck. All right, I don't think I can chat when you're all in, right? Yeah. Good luck, Cloud. Good luck. I have the top pair. Uh, you have the top pair as well. I'm free rolling you right now. You would need a seven or a jack. And we spit it up. The nit Oh! Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't in that roll on, on purpose. Garen's luck? In, f in fact, yes, you earned one euro. Let's gamble, they say. Ace is against. Ooh, that's a nice. Ooh, that's a that's a, a lot of sweating going on. Ooh, the ultimate sweat. Another flush. No, it takes it down with the jack. But I mean, that was just a a nice board. Icon taking it down for the first prize mo prize money. Well, uh, GG. Well played. Shows the deuce. <laughs> We're in second place now. Um, okay. We we don't we're not going to see too many nice hands in the time remaining. Garen's luck. I'll take care of it right away. Um, I don't think we can let it go with the open enter and the backdoor flushes. If we, there might be some fault equity if we come over the top. Especially on a board like this. No, get insta called. Still, it's 50 50. Almost. That's a nice card. Woo! Yeah, two pair here and the gutter himself. Links. Yeah, I think I have to write. Ah, uh, think about no and languages since Germany is close. But honestly, I don't know. Well. Hang on, hang on. Ooh, Fobolo Hilo knocking out Sushi here. GG. And well played, Sushi. The tournament. Uh, so, Garen's luck, the money is has been transferred. Should hit your account within the next 10 minutes. 
At least I think it has been transferred. I'll, I'll know if, uh, once I get the confirmation email, which should happen soon. And I might be able to save this bounty in this tournament. That would be sweet. And congrats on being in the money, everybody. So poker in about... Icon, yeah, well played, man. Love to fold with the aces earlier, just deserved win. Um, hang on, I'm gonna get back to what you said poker in. Can't fold this. And 60-40. That's not a good one for us. That's gotta be tough to pull ahead. An 8, a 10, or a 9? Nope, the ace doesn't do it. Cloud, it is top 3, but I'm not taking my own prize pool. Aces now. That's what I get for playing this hand. Um, yeah, I don't know either, Pokerin, about moving to Germany. I mean, the language is tough to learn, I think. Um, if you do come to Germany, don't come, come to East Germany. Go to Western Germany, where the wages are higher. But on the whole, Germany has become a low-wage country, which sounds absurd, but is uh, true never nevertheless. Especially for Eastern Germany. Um, big for streamers, always. <laughs> So, I don't know if I would choose Germany myself, if I, you know, wasn't German. Of course, the social system, the healthcare system is excellent, in comparison still. Um, yeah, but still. I don't know, it's tough for me to comment on. Because... I certainly would, I certainly have a lot of issues with my country and my government and the way uh, things are going. Um, yeah, I don't know either. I mean, if you're learning more uh, new language to have more options in the future, I would definitely not go for German if ju if if that's the like main consideration there, because it only opens up so many countries. So Spanish, French uh, will open up uh, huge parts of the globe of the world for you. Yeah. Tough call. Um, that will do it for us. I do it. Also, it shouldn't be a call if we uh, play the spot. We would have to. We would. We should go all in. No point in letting him have a, sm a few chips behind there, because we can never fold any flop. I had a jack too. The first time I was a world wrestling with pressures against Eastern Europeans, Janus, Alocious. Um, uh, 
sadly, that's probably a good point too. I mean... Hang on. Ooh, that's not a good one for us. Like, yeah, 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 I get it. Three, four years from now. Pokemon, I can only, so I thought about emigrating, and I was actually uh, decently far along in the process of uh, immigrating to Canada and getting my permanent residency there. So I looked into this stuff a little bit and uh, quite uh, quite a lot actually and uh, thought about it a lot as well. What it came down like uh, f what it came down to for me was the countries I would consider emigrating to would be Scandinavian countries where you can get by with English if you want all, pretty much all your life. Of course, once you live there, you want to pick up the local language, but it's everybody speaks excellent English there, better than mine. Chances are. Well, in most cases, in almost all cases. Um, so all the Scandinavian countries are excellent, I think. Like, doesn't matter which one you pick. They all have their own issues if you look deeper into them. But you know, it doesn't matter. On the, on the surface, it doesn't matter if it's Sweden, Denmark, Norway. All of them are not fine. And the other option would be Canada. And those are the countries that made the cut for me. Yeah. And I spent two years in Canada. I love the society, I love the people. Decent social system, some issues with the healthcare. I mean, it's great on the, on the surface. There's some issues with getting to, uh, like an appointment with specialists, which can take you a year to see like a skin doctor or whatever. But on the, on the whole, uh, Canada is a, is a good deal. Portuguese is a fancy, yeah. It's close-ish to Spanish, right? And when it comes to learning languages uh, or picking up a language I learned before, for me personally, it would be Spanish. Because French, I have a love-hate relationship with, as in I love to hate it. Because I had a horrible teacher the first couple of years in French and I did, I barely managed to uh, get passing grades in French. So that wouldn't be my, my personal first cho choice. And Spanish is awesome. In Spanish, I actually managed to... As I did in English quickly, uh, get a feel for the language where I didn't, pretty soon after two, three years, I didn't need to think about the most basic tenses anymore, like how do I construct a sentence, it just came out and worked, more or less. Oh, well, Spanish uh, for learning is excellent. I, Portuguese, I have no idea how, how hard or easy it is. But it also opens up a good deal of the globe, I think, right? If Portugal, of course, in Europe, and then you have some, I don't know, I think it's spoken in some South South American places too, right? Garen's luck, the money should have hit your account now. I know poker and I um the the things I read about where Poland is going right now like what they do what they did to their judges a while back and the whole uh, judicial system ah uh, doesn't sound good Don't get me wrong a lot of things in Germany don't, don't sound good either but yeah might get taxed even more um here's a thought poker in if you want to um, maybe take a look at Canada for a while, talk to me and if that's of, if the following is of interest to, to you, talk to me in Discord after the stream or during the next couple of days. Uh, so here, here goes, here's the thought. Um, you can very, very easily work for a year or for many years if you want in Canada. If your English is decent, decent which it seems, you can, Canada has a huge industry of localization for video games. 
And I worked in a company where people uh, joined the company and left the company all the time. They had a huge uh, turnover, not because people, uh, just because I was young people uh, wanting to see the world for a year. So you can really, really easily get into that uh, genre. You don't need to be a translator or anything, um, as long as you're, you speak your native tongue and, of course, English. And you pass their, their uh, language tests there. I can give you some, some addresses, some hookups. And it's a really easy way of getting into Canada and get betting, being paid and see it for a while and just see some, some parts of the world. Also improve your English in the process, which was the reason why I did it. Um, yeah, it would be video game localization or linguistic quality assurance, linguistic QA. That's what I did there for two years and I had a blast, man. I had an absolute blast. It was wonderful. Yeah, it's like awesome. Nice to see that uh, the money went where it should have. Tony Warriors in the channel. Nice to see you, Tony Warriors. Tony Warriors, a member of the mixed game movement and very engaged in that regard. Has an excellent mixed game channel. Huge shout out to you, Tony Warriors. A pleasure to see you here. Check out his channel if you're into the mixed game magic. Seems like the entire EU is going downhill, yeah? Pretty much. I, yeah, Pokerin, if you talk to Swedes or to people native to these countries, they... It's the same with me. Uh, of course, they are more, uh, much more aware of issues and things happening in the country, and so they have more beef with their own country. But still, they would, they would be fine destinations on the whole, I think. Yeah, due to my job in Canada, I have friends in Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Italy. I used to learn French a bit, but I don't remember any of it anymore. Same here. I can, uh, with a very nice accent, say I don't speak French, which, made people, which makes people always go like, huh? Because when I say I don't speak French, it sounds kind of alright. And they're like, no, no you sound good. Yeah, I might, but I just don't know any words or grammar. Or anything. Tony Mario is applying for the home game club. Awesome! It's gonna be a pleasure having you. Nice! And um, we're gonna bet really small here. Can we actually, can we bet smaller than that? I'm just curious. No, we can't. Of course not, because it's the blind. If he doesn't have an ace, he has to fold here a lot. If he does have an ace, then he didn't risk much. Portuguese opens up a lot of, a lot of doors all over the world, okay. Brazil, Angola, Macau, Portugal. Macau, really? I wouldn't have. I would have failed that had that been an, an, a question on a quiz. Oh, Cloud, I didn't see you were disconnected. Then I would have timed out, uh, timed down a little bit, give you more time. I'll wait a moment here, time down a little bit so Cloud has more time to disc to reconnect. And there he is. So we have almost a 3 to 1 chip lead here. Strange enough, we got lucky there. Oh, good cloud. Power shut off, what the fuck? Might be too old. Well, I did it when I was uh, early 30s. 
And they actually considered it to consider to do it again like one and a half years ago. They would still they they still take you if you're forty. In fact they'd be happy to. It's not gonna be a great salary or anything, but you know, I had a car and cheap rent and it was great. It's just great. Wouldn't miss it for the world. They're still finishing your uh, CS degree. Okay, that's a good point then. Yeah, finishing that degree is definitely the GTO thing. Hmm, double gutter. Uh, SPR2, I think we need to let it go. Give us a backdoor flush draw on top and maybe. Or just two better, over, like two overcards. Ace King, 7 4. Alright, all in here. Rigged. Yeah, congrats Cloud on third place money. I'll ship it over right away. Ah. Two pair and a straight draw. Let's give it a shot. I'm, maybe we have some fault equity on the rainbow ward. Maybe not. Don't let it be the nuts. Ugh. Ugh. Crap. Nice hand. Nice hand. Yeah, this we're going with. Rainbow board. Vector flush draw. I don't know. I want to keep playing, please. Just want to transfer the money. The money. Okay. Nope. Cloud. Three. Seven. Two bucks there. Razam, hey, good to have you in the channel, Razam. Welcome back to the channel. Today it's only going to be the home games. I will probably play a party a party tournament, the main event, but I will only stream that if I make a deep run. And we'll be back tomorrow. But it's a pleasure to have you here. And looking forward to having you in the home game next Friday. Tony Varius, yeah, I will. Uh, actually, I will uh, join it in a moment. Um, it's, well, uh, the um, immigrating, like getting your permanent uh, residency where you can choose any job and just stay there forever is harder. It's not impossible, but it's harder. If you have a college degree and all that, it's uh, going to be much easier. They have a point system. Um, so it's very doable to get into Canada, especially if you uh, don't have to hurry it. If you can take a year or two to get in, then you will get in sooner or later. 
Um, and the thing, like um, what I did with the link for the for the, the video game QA thingy, then those people um, get uh, get a different visa for you, which is only good for this one job. So you can't quit and find another job easily, at least. So, phew. And that is really easy. So uh, the, the the government make made those visas really easy to obtain for those companies, because. You know, it's in a in a, in a uh, underpopulated, as you say, rightly say, can, uh, ca sorry, country as Canada is. You're not gonna find many Polish speakers that want to work in video game translation, QA, and all that stuff. So they made it really easy for like people in, in for specialized jobs where it's hard to get somebody local for it to emigrate or to come to the country and work just at one job, though. Gonna do right. Cloud, please let me know. I, I th oh. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Ah, that's too bad. I was really hoping for a jack or a king here, so I can bluff, which is probably in the tournament. Uh, this shallow stacks, not the greatest approach to the spot. Cloud, uh, please contact me in Discord so I can transfer you the money. I think you were one of the peeps I transferred it to on. Let me check my his chat history. I, I think I transferred money to you in the past on ACR, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're one of the ACR uh, gentlemen. So I'll do that there after the after the stream is over. I could have just checked here. Ah, uh, you know what, I'm not sure I'll play the party poker tournament. Maybe I'll late rack a little bit later. Cause then, yeah. Nobody else but me here to walk the dog today. My dad's going to bed early because he needs to be up uh, tomorrow very early. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how useful the blockers are. Probably not very. Again, I... I don't like how I played this hand at all, I think. I still take it out, which is a surprise. Pleasant one. What were we up against? Ace, Queen, 10, 9. Yeah. Certainly completely understand the preflop call. On the flop. Had a go on the turn. Still at the gutter. Oh, maybe the turn needs to be folded. In Richie Rob's shoes. With the excellent blockers here, I completely get why Richie went all in. And they split it! Wow! Lucky son of a gun! Oh no, they don't even split it! Wow! Okay, I have to flush on top, so the ace that... Fobolo Hilo currently needs. Needs to be of hearts and GG Fobolo Hilo. GG. Am I saving the bounty? That is the question. I am keeping that bounty. Not on this board, unfortunately.
That's not a bad board for us, I would say. So, Fobolo Hilo transfers out and on the way to you. That's not a nice turn. But Canada, not so much. Um, look, I would advise you to look into it, Pokerin. Um, it's not as hard as you might think, moving into Canada. There's, I can also give you some links. There's a good forum about it. Yeah, I think the money's going in. Phew. I mean, the uh, holes in your CV are not a problem. Are not a big problem. Your um, college education is going to be worth a lot in the point system they have for getting in. And there, go. Just for the sake of leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough, Pokerin. And my uh, CV is would be full of holes as well, if I would need to turn it in and turn in, you know, the completely accurate version. Then it will be full of holes too. And probably more than yours too. I had a lot of years where I was slacking off for. Well, not really slacking off, slacking off, was battling depression there for a while, and things like that didn't really help in having, you know, one of these normal civvies where you go from job to job. I think we're gonna set up a river shove here, just for the sake of it. So Cloud, actually, strike what I said earlier, you don't need to contact me, I still I found the info in the Discord and I'll ship you the money after the tournament is over. Can't lose to Richie. <laughs> I'll do my best. We're gonna call or bet ourselves. Am I the creator of my own doom here as I so often am in these spots where people didn't show up with eights or better? No, not this time. Probably an ace king type of deal then, or lower pair. Ace jack. Can't really call on this board. At least I don't think we should. Start to do some more raising on the button, why not? Mm -hmm. That's why, obviously. Trading to chip lead here. Break in nine minutes? Really? We're gonna make this a two break stream? Sort of, uh, sort of connected kings, that's an interesting turn. I think we'll be folding on this one. Especially not for this bet sizing. Just a decent bet sizing in its own right, don't get me wrong. And now we're never folding. 
But on a paired board with the second nuts, nut flush, I don't see the need to lead. I think maybe Richie wants to bluff, although I don't think we've seen Richie bluff. Doesn't mean he didn't do it, it's just that I don't recall having seen it. This one I'll let go for a change. Again, you know me and heads up. Not my favorite combination. Plus I suck at it. A top pair, you say. Okay, let's take one off. Cool. Phew. Now that's a kind of an intriguing card. Gives us a flush draw and an open ender. If Richie bets large, we have to let it go, I think. But and that's the flush for us. Nine high. If we can squeeze some money out of it. Which Rob folding very disciplined and very well, I, I think. Hmm. I almost could be null in hand. Sure, let's do it. Okay. Four to one chip lead. Nice one. Gonna fall to a race. He could have. I don't know if he should race here. Honestly, not sure. Nines and sevens, we're going with it. If he raises, money's going in. <sighs> Again, yeah, Richie, very disciplined folding. I'm not being sarcastic either. Right now I'm just getting hands here, this, which sucks when you are a short stack and your opponent keeps getting hands and you're not. Ah, we can't quite do it. It's a little bit too weak. Make the deuce pretty much any other card, like anything higher than a 5. I lose daily. Rushed me with quads once. Get raised here, we're not folding. Yeah. Coin flip, basically. Ooh, that's not a good. Ooh, because of the force. That's a horrible one for us. Yep, that solves it. The comeback is on. We're gonna make it into the second break, I believe. <laughs> that is uh, very nice of you to say, Poker In. Um, doesn't bother me at all. I. Probably not in the best position to give life advice, but I'm always happy to share what I feel and think, and sometimes what I know too. When I do know something. No, it's it's all good, my friend. It really is. Thank you for saying that, though. It's very nice.
That's it. Richie Rob taking down first place money. Very, very well done. I'm not going to register for next tournaments because they're not going to happen on Sundays anymore. Right. So let's actually check out something really quick. Hang on, I don't want to... Uh, I'll, I'll move it back to the screen, to the main screen in a moment. Don't want to divulge certain information that would show up here. Right. So, let's see. Of course, I'm my um, it's easy for me to be top place in the. First of all, let's go to play monies because I play all the tournaments. But still, uh, so. I'm gonna add up the points of these two sessions. I'm gonna figure out the price for the first place winner. Maybe for the first two, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I'll let you know on Discord and on Twitter. Starting Friday, a new uh, the new starting date for the home games will happen, i.e. Fridays. The prize pool will be back to the regular 5 euros in the Play Money tournament. Bounty of 1 euro in both tournaments will, will be here to stay. And the new season, I don't know if I want to do quarter seasons or maybe half a year, maybe half a year, because that way people have more time to actually play. Because I know that life gets in the way uh, a lot, which is also why uh, my standings in the in the seasons here is uh, completely uh, meaningless, because of course I get to play every time. So, yeah, I think that's it for the home games. I'll end the stream in a moment. Um, I... We'll be back tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow afternoon at the regular time, I think. Yeah, yeah. And we'll do the... You know what, maybe this week I will uh, change the schedule and start an hour later because of the splashy hours, which happen from, nine, uh, from 7 to 9 in the evening. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I think about it. I'll po I think I'll start half an hour or an hour later tomorrow and the, the whole week with the next seven days. So there's that. I'll be back tomorrow. I probably won't be taking a break on Wednesday either because of the splash. At least not. Uh, at least I will be here for the splashy hours. But I'll 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 see about that as well. But I think that's how it's gonna go. Asian work culture is terrible. Well, yeah, yeah. I. Also, you're always going to be an outsider in, uh, to a greater extent as in other uh, countries, in, in Asian countries. So it wouldn't be my personal first choice. That's a fun place to be here, that's for sure, Asia. You know, as a broad generalization. So either you stick to poker or programming. Yeah. The beauty is both of these you can do from wherever on the globe. A lot, at least. You can work at yeah, poker, you can do from home and programming as well. Um, GG, indeed. My, yeah, as I said, my genuine pleasure holding these home games. They are here to stay. I think everything about the home games I said, if I repeat it, I would only bore you at this point. So the Sunday stream, this will be the last Sunday stream, because in the future Sundays will be my day off. I appreciate you, but lo I'm still a beginner, but love learning here. It is always a pleasure having you, Richie Rob. It truly is. Thank you for saying that. It's very nice. So yeah, I'll not bore you anymore I think and I'll be back tomorrow at sometime after four I'll, I'll figure it out but I'll be t uh, back tomorrow uh, mid afternoon and with that I hope you had a good time I certainly did enjoyed having you all of uh, you all here and taking part in the home games and being in the channel um, Ooh, right if you want check out I'm so very happy about this I have my very own video on Run at Once. Not on Run at Once training, just on their YouTube channel, but they asked me to record an intro and yeah, I got, I got a YouTube video on Run at Once regarding the Splash Pods, which is super cool. So check it out. I put the link in the channel if you guys want. And right, long story short, thanks for being here. Sa thanks for watching and keeping me company. Uh, if you want, I'll see you tomorrow with cash game action. I, if I play the tournament, the party poker tournament today, uh, tonight, and I make a deep run, I will be back, but I wouldn't count on it. 
Right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for being here.